dies urbanizing rapidly and then in the 10 years to come it could be more than 10 million people will be available in Dar es Salaam. So you could consider production of waste could triple. If we don't have uh, a really organized management of waste, it could be a disaster. Dar es Salaam currently produces in the area 4,500 tons of waste every single day. And unfortunately, only 1,200 tons of that is actually making its way to the city's dump site. The implications are that people are either burying their garbage, burning their garbage, dumping it in open spaces or in rivers. So in a real sense, the improper management of the waste is really increasing the flooding in the... This waste will block water. And when it block water, it will cause the water to overflow to houses and leads to flood. We have collected the data. We designed uh, a map, which is a web map, that shows all that data. Anyone can view the location through the tool. I think addressing solid waste management in Dar es Salaam needs, first of all, to get the policy environment correct and then to look at the value chain of the segregation at the household level to minimize the amount that actually has to be transferred to the city's dump site. We have a, an institutionalized solid waste management within the Dar region to have uh, facilities available for management, for correction, transportation and the disposal of waste.